Hi everyone, it's Fanola again, and this is my last of my pre-recorded stuff because I, I deliberately actually kept my outfit the same so that you'd know it was pre-recorded. I've done it in one sitting so that because I wanted to show you that yes, it's pre-recorded. Yes, I'm switching off from my holidays because I believe that it's really important. So this is my last of my pre-recorded ones for you. <clears throat> and this question is fantastic, okay? <laughs> so... This one is episode 47 for you, and it's what's your advice on making difficult business decisions when it comes to relationships? Great, great question. Okay, and so the detail of it is, be it saying no to a project, letting go of a client that you don't enjoy working with anymore, or cutting ties with another provider who didn't deliver on their promise. Okay, so how do you manage that? Great, great question. Okay, and one every entrepreneur has experienced, anybody in business has experienced this. So these are my thoughts so far. And again, I have the caveat of as time goes on, I learn more, I get a little wiser, and I'll have a better answer the next time. But this is my answer for today. Okay, so the first thing that I would say to you is know that everything in your business is ultimately your choice. Okay, that's really important. We choose how we react. We choose how we work, we choose how we interact, we choose how we deal with different situations. So it's ultimately your choice how you do this, okay? And that you're never, in, you're never without the ability to respond in a way that fits who you are, okay? So some thoughts for you, okay? It's boundaries are really important here, okay? So the first thing I have is, Again, like last week, start with clarity around what you want to achieve in this business, okay? So be really clear. It's that question of what are you here for? What are you trying to achieve? What is it that you're set here to set out to do, okay? And then that's that question which we talked about last week, which is what are you willing to do to make that happen? Now that is about clarity because when we have clarity, we have better, we have the opportunity to have better relationships. Because when we're clear about what we want for ourselves and what we want for our lives, what we want for our business, then we're clear about how we want to do business. Okay. So the next thing that I would say to you is, and it is this, how we want to do business, right? So this piece I would say to you is create your own rules for how you will work. Okay. And even I do this before I deliver any uh, live sessions. I have rules of engagement, what's expected of everybody in the room and it's an acceptance it's a non-judgmental space and i'm very very clear and i reiterate them every time but this applies for throughout your whole business so being creating rules for how you do business and i do this we, this is actually part of the get strategic program and for those of you who have started it it's episode it's step 3.6 does it fit your why and that's because everything that we do is about alignment aligning your purpose with your reality, aligning your purpose with what you do from a marketing context, what you do from everything you decide, making sure it's fully in alignment. So how you do business is making sure you're in alignment with your how, with your why, sorry. Your how must be in alignment with your why, okay? So for example, I had this situation last week with a client and they, we were working together on something and it was the piece of advice that I gave them is, create your own rules. If you don't want to work and deliver a product or a service like this without supplying X, Y, and Z along with it, then don't do it. If you have clients who don't want to buy your full package and you feel it's really critical for them to buy the full package, well then consider whether you're willing to walk away from the project because you know it's not the best that you can deliver on. These are the decisions that you have to make. What is your why and what are your rules for that why? How is that manifested, okay? The next thing I think about is making sure that everything you do is in alignment with your values, okay? Being steered by your own values. So for example, one of the very big things for me is I always work in joy. It sounds crazy, it sounds indulgent, but if I'm not happy doing the work, then I can't give the best to the people that I work with. So if I don't feel a resonance with the client on the discovery call, then I walk away. I don't, I want to have joy in all my work. And and to be really upfront with you, when I made that choice, it made life easier for me. And it made that sure that all my work is in joy 
and my clients feel that and they feel better for it. So that's one of my whys. I have to feel happy about the engagement. I don't want to feel like I have to do something. I feel like I'm joyfully embracing uh, the journey I take with each client. It just, you know, that's why we're here. I'm not here for a long time. I want to make a difference and I know I make the best difference I can make by being joyful in how I work, by being happy about helping this other person that I'm here to help. So that's one of my whys, okay? And if someone is not aligned with your values, okay, that doesn't mean they're a bad person. That just doesn't, that just means the two of you aren't a fit and they were meant to work with somebody else. And that's how I think about it. It's no judgment on anybody else. It's no judgment on me. It just means we're not connecting here. So I need to create a space for you to find the person you were meant to work with. There's more than me in this world, you know? So leave that with you, okay? Next thing I would say to you is, and this is all leading to somewhere, okay? <laughs> I promise. So treat every person you meet with respect. Really important. It's really important because if you treat everyone with respect, but then when it comes to those difficult questions and those difficult conversations, they're easier to have because you respect the other person's perspective and you can hear them. That's really important. You've got to be able to hear them, okay? So... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I wanted to say this to you. When I, any time that I went against my own values of making sure that I would be joyful in the experience, I ended up walking away anyway. And I ended up uh, offering the work that had been done so far without... Uh, uh, cost to them because it wasn't right and and I always felt better as a result so using your values as a guide is really critical for this process because it'll help steer you best and when you go against them that doesn't serve you it's that simple okay as well right be very clear what you want from the start so that you both have the same expectations Nobody's confused, everyone's clear what's expected from each other. It makes for a healthier relationship. If what's delivered doesn't meet the expectations, then just talk to each other. This is what I mean by treating everybody with respect as well. Just talk to each other as two beautiful human beings that just had different expectations of what was to be delivered and what was to be received. And if you can come with respect and appreciating the perspective of the other person, then the difficult conversations can be had earlier on so that they're not really that difficult and nothing gets messy and gets worse. And do it earlier rather than later. Don't allow anything to fester, okay? Really important. Don't allow it to fester. Just be upfront, be respectful and walk away if you need to. If you're emotional, I'll also say that to you because it has happened to me. <laughs> if you're emotional, leave space to cool off because you can't be rational, you can't be realistic and you can't see their other perspective. If you can't see their perspective, then you can't have a constructive conversation. So allow, your, allow yourself time to vent it, talk about it with someone you trust or just sleep on it. Because sometimes when you just sleep on it, you can see more clearly the following day. Sometimes you need another piece of information before you go forward. So make sure that you leave space to cool off. That's a lot for you to think about, guys. But I think at the bones of it is clarity and respect. If you come with those two things in everything you do in your relationships and also have those difficult conversations earlier rather than later, but not if you're emotional. OK, that has been episode 47 and it's been all about difficult decisions when it comes to your business relationships remember the other person on the other end the receiving end has also had difficult discussions and if they're professional and they're all well, if they're human you will sort it out if you treat each other with respect and walking away is often the most respectful thing you can do have a wonderful day I'm back to my holidays now I'm going to the pool <laughs> and if you're on holidays, I hope you're enjoying it too. Have a great day. Take care. And I'll see you next week.
live. <laughs> bye bye.